Today through this video I am going to explain you in detail that single phase motor we use with this motor how to connect a capacitor and how connection of power supply will be done and if you want to change direction of this motor then how you should do the connection I am going to tell you this also So first of all here you can see I have a single phase motor here now on the terminal of this motor there you will find total four wires among these four wires of motor with any two wires you have to connect a capacitor besides to run the motor bring single phase power supply and connect with any two wires among these so how to connect let's understand friends first of all what you have to do from this motor four wires are coming you have to measure resistance of wire first to measure resistance what you have to do these four wires here measure resistance one by one you have to measure resistance between any two wires to explain you properly i used color coding here like two red wires are here and two yellow wires red wire will be wire of one winding and yellow wire will be of second winding now between winding of wire you have to measure resistance like if you measure resistance from red to red then you will get a value similarly if you measure resistance from yellow wire to yellow wire then you will get a value of resistance now whatever value you got you have to see in which wire resistance is highest right now let us consider between red wire resistance is low so the winding whose resistance is low that will be your running winding now suppose between yellow wire resistance is measured that is high compared to running winding so the winding whose resistance is high that will be your starting winding after measuring resistance in these four wires we came to know that red wire is for running winding and yellow wire is for starting winding after this what we have to do what you have to do simply is running winding and starting winding here take one wire of these and connect with each other i connected both the wires with each other now two wires which are left simply connect capacitor with these two wires you can see here i connected the wire now to run this motor we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply for this i am using a mcb here i provided input power supply to mcb phase supply and neutral supply is connected here now from this neutral point connect a wire and the wires we shot before i mean where we connected wires of running winding and starting winding with this connect this wire if you twist running winding and starting winding with each other then it will become common wire with common wire you have to connect neutral power supply you can see here i connected neutral power supply now we have to provide phase supply phase supply will go to either this or this wire now if by mistake you connected phase supply with the starting winding then your motor will run but after some time it will heat up and burn out so if you want to connect phase supply then bring the phase supply and in running winding with winding wire connect this wire after doing connection in this way our motor will run in forward direction if you didn't understood connection here then i am explaining you through this also look i have two windings and i identified both that which winding will be used for running and which one will be used for starting now what i have to do we have to short one end of both the windings after this capacitor we have what we do with capacitor one end of both the winding which is left connect with these in this way now where we short the wire that will become common terminal and with common terminal we have to connect neutral power supply now bring the phase supply and connect with running winding you can see with one terminal of running winding here i connected phase supply connection which i told you here is all done in this manner only now you want that you want to change direction of motor then for this you have to do some changes in connection how to make change let's understand this also friends winding here i mean four wires here i am naming these four wires first of all what i will do in this running winding this wire here i mean this wire i am naming this as u1 and let this end be u2 now let this terminal of starting winding be z1 and let this one be z2 for now connection is done in this way to u1 and z1 neutral power supply and to u2 phase supply is provided now we will make changes in connection for changing connection right now i removed all the connections now what you have to do learn this properly friends connection we did before in that what we did this wire and this wire we short these together right now what you have to do this red wire i mean running winding open the wire connected with this winding after opening with this wire i mean starting winding and this wire of running winding short these with each other 
It means in running winding, we have to interchange this wire. Before we use this wire, now we have to use this one. Okay, now two wires are left. With these two wires, connect two wires of capacitor. Now, as I told you before, that running winding here, with this, you have to connect phase supply. This one is of a common wire, so this one is of running winding. So, with this, we have to connect phase supply. With this common wire, we have to connect neutral power supply. So, bring neutral power supply and connect directly with this. So, overall, this much connection you need to do. If you still didn't understood the connection, then through this also, I am explaining you. In connection which was done before, in that U1 and Z1 were short together. For now, you have to change the direction of motor. Then what you have to do, connection of this running winding here, you have to interchange it. I mean U2 in place of U1 and U1 in place of U2. So here I change the connection. I interchange wires. Wire of winding which was here is now on this side and wire on this side is now on this side. Now what we do, Z1 terminal of this winding here, connect this with U2. It means from here to here, it is connected for previous condition. In that condition, we connected Z1 with U1. But now I am connecting Z1 with U2. Now with remaining two wires, we will connect capacitor. After this, with common wire, we will connect neutral supply and with another terminal of running winding, we will connect phase supply. So only connection of running winding you have to change. If you change connection like this, then direction of motor will also get changed. Friends, I am showing you both the connections here. Look, if you want to run motor in forward direction, then you have to connect U1 with Z1. But if you want to change the direction of motor, then U2, I mean wire which is here, take this and connect with this point. I did straight connections here. I connected U2 with Z1. After this with U1 terminal, we have to connect capacitor. You can see here with U1 and Z2, I connected capacitor. So overall in this way, you have to do connection. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.